Yeah. 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 Yeah
The smugglers blues. We're not fucking up. Okay, fuck you, man. We're gonna do this so good. This one is for really? Blake Frey. Hi. Uh, you can tell I'm a big fan because I know how to say it. That's right. This is for the new kid in town. Where's Liz? Johnny from Hoodley. Liz left. We should do that one. Steve has to think about his whole life before he can play this. This is actually Steve's life story. So I'm going to over to this. I take you back right now to the late 70s, early 80s, Miami, Florida. Steve's running a cigar boat off the coast, just moving cocaine and various other powdered substances from Cuba to Les Etats Unis, that would be the United States of America. He never did get caught. That's right. Don Henley wrote a song about it, and Glenn Fry stole that song, and we're gonna perform it for you now. Ask Don Henley. He'd be like, "Yeah, I wrote that. I had a bunch of pieces of paper in my house, and somebody stole them. I didn't know." That's right. Great. No, no, I'm just, I'm retelling the story where it was actually a Don Henley song. Glenn Fry didn't know, but he was like, "That's catchy." And then Don Johnson comes into play because it's my advice. It's a whole thing.
See, that's the power. That's You can't do that, Jay. Don't do the things I say on the microphone. I'll get Fred Durst syndrome, and I think people will just break stuff when I say break stuff. I don't need that kind of power. So, like, two people left. Andy told me to do it, and I did it. That's right. Lisa said she got kicked out on 420 for smoking uh, weed in here when I told her to do it. Well, that was my fault. I, I said it. I didn't know you'd do it. That's an Eminem line right there, and I felt that for the first time when Lisa said that. I was like, he's right. Dude, it was the third set before you had to take a pee in the middle of the set. New record. What do we, I mean, So far, my 71st year around this planet, is much better than my 69. Shake shaking all over. Fuck you, man. Medicine jar. Oh, okay. I'm for it. Let me just get my. If I falter, I'm going to. Do a weird So if Lisa's still rocking online and if Bobby's watching, this is a Bobby song. If it's not, we'll remind you to watch it tomorrow. We brought this one back in a play for Bobby. Little did we know that she was off saving the world. One person at a time. Thank everybody for being here. I would like to thank everybody for being here. That's a sentence. That's what I was going for. I would like to be the one 
to thank you guys for all coming and hanging out here with us for the Lemon Show, Steve's birthday, Return of the Mac. Good for all of us because that's what he'll do it in. 
Shadow Reeves will do that and kill your dog. They, uh, you rush the bastards. Ass. Okay, okay well, we'll that's, that's, that's the little dickhead from Game of Thrones, too. That guy was an asshat all the way through. I've never seen him. You didn't miss anything. Did you know that Baldur's Gate has more cutscene time than the entirety of Game of Thrones? Fucking crazy. No, that was literally, that's more words than the entirety of the Lord of the Rings trilogy and more actual cutscene time than the entire Game of Thrones. They put some work in that thing. You guys, go buy those flowers and then buy Baldur's Gate 3 uh, Digital Deluxe, no, no, Physical Deluxe Edition is in a sweet box. I don't know. We don't make any money off that, we're just trying to... That corner's pretty quiet tonight, ladies. What? They're plotting against you. They're plotting your demise. I'm gonna take liberties. Can I just ask real quick, everybody with shoelaces out there, untie your left shoe before we start this song. If you have tied laces, shut your shoes. Untie your left shoe. Slip on, just kind of sit there, I guess. I don't know. You're not in on this. I appreciate you. Now I feel like I have to deliver, though. I just slip on, dude. I got nothing on it. Sketchers.
Thank you. 